I just thought of a great time-saving way to clean my Glock. I'm going to throw it in the wash with my regular clothes. It'll be clean in no time. <laughs> Heavy duty and extra hot. That ought to do it. see how we made out. We have uh, a sock, uh, oh, delicate unmentionables, and, ah, here it is. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> honey, I shrunk the Glock. All right, on the workbench we have the very brand new, extremely brand new Glock 42. Not just a brand new gun, but a brand new model. Ta-da! Okay, freshly home. Here is the diminutive Glock 42, single stack, 380 ACP. First look at the Made in America, Made in the USA, Glock 380 Auto. First time ever sold in the United States. The Glock 42, a brand new model for a brand new year. Single stack, razor thin. So, what are the basics? Comes with two magazines, and it comes with, of course, a lock and it comes with a cleaning brush and plastic rod and it comes with the first shell casing fired it comes with uh, ooh, look a little apparel and accessories catalog first time I've gotten that with a Glock look at this look at this folks Go out and buy your new Glock, and you get an opportunity to spend even more money. So there's your swag catalog. And, of course, it comes with our important safety instructions and owner's manual. All very nice. But what we're interested in is this pistol. We are very interested in this pistol. So, um, again, just to give a just to give a quick overview, this is the brand new Glock 380 Auto, model 42, brand new for 2014, and we are here in January of 2014. This is, for all intents and purposes, even though it is not labeled as such, it is a Gen 4. Type. You have Gen 4 style grip stippling, although it's not quite as pointed, it's not quite as deep as most Gen 4 stippling. That's the first thing I notice. You do have the Gen 4 mag catch, which looks huge on this tiny pistol. And we have our single stack 380 magazine. Holds six rounds, so we have a six plus one capability. We have the flat slide lock. And all the other typical things we would expect to see with a Glock, because it is, after all, a Glock. So we're not going to waste any time getting this gun out to the range. We're going to put some rounds down range and we're going to bring you along for the ride. Let's go shoot this thing. So we're out here at the range today to take a look at two new, brand new guns. One made in Austria, one made in the USA, but they are both 
Glocks. From Austria, we have the brand new Glock 41 Gen 4, 45 ACP long slide. And from the USA, we have the brand new Glock 42 subcompact, micro compact, 380 auto. We're going to take a look at both of these guns today and put them through some initial paces and get a first look, uh, get a first look at them. The brand new Glock 42 380 ACP, 6 plus 1 capability, single stack, razor thin, look at that. Going to take the very first shots here in a moment. We're going to put this thing through a little bit of initial break in and testing and take a first, take a good first look at it. She's a tiny one. So let's, uh, let's get some eyes and ears on and take this thing for a test drive. Glock 42, first shot. After two magazines of six, so my first 12 rounds, my thoughts so far are that this is a pretty impressive little 380. Um, there is very, very little recoil, very little muzzle lift at all. Um, this gun stays really flat, and that is largely uh, to do with the fact that it does have a very heavy dual recoil spring and guide rod assembly. Um, you know, this is a dual spring uh, that you might expect to see in a, in a larger Glock. So, um, you know, I don't know what the tension is on it, but it's obviously doing a great job of keeping this gun flat and uh, keeping that muzzle lift down. For as tiny as it is, it fits the hand really well. You have that, the very familiar Glock grip angle, um, familiar ergonomics, same trigger, same trigger pull same reset um, so you know there's if you if you shoot Glocks this is a Glock and it feels just like the others so uh, let's get some more rounds through this thing see if we can tighten that group up a little bit and uh, come up with some more thoughts and observations
Glock 42, brand new. Still has that new Glock smell. So what do I think so far? Just had it for a few hours. I've put uh, about 100 rounds maybe, not quite, through it. Um, done a little bit of initial accuracy testing just from a rest at 10 yards. Done some you know, speed shooting and just some, some general feel. Um, my thoughts right now are this is a pretty amazing little Glock. You know, when they... Uh, when Glock first announced that the the new mystery gun was going to be a 380, um, I think I was kind of moaning along with the, much of the rest of the gun world. But, oh, you know, we were all hoping for a little micro compact single stack nine or 40 or both. Um, and so I think there was everyone sort of felt a little bit let down that it, that uh, the offering came in 380. However, I will tell you that this is there's a place for this pistol. This is a nice, nice little gun. This thing shoots extremely well. I am having a hard time trying to describe just how small this is. And when I get this back at the workbench, we'll take a close look at just how small this thing is. But, um, you know, if, if you watch my videos, you know I don't have giant hands. And, you know, this thing is, uh, I can almost hide it in the palm of my hand. It is very, very, very tiny. Um, it's very thin. It's a single stack 380, so it ought to be, right? Um, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like fish thin. Um, it shoots incredibly well. Recoil management is amazing, even given the, the round. Um, even if you were to put the hottest 380 self-defense load you can find in this thing, it's going to shoot and handle nice, really, really nice. Um, Sight acquisition, of course, it's a Glock, so you have your typical, you know, underdog rear sight and white dot front sight. You pick them up quick, it shoots where you point it, um, and it seems to be incredibly accurate. And I'm just shooting, you know, lawman, spear lawman, hardball, target ammo, um, and, it's, and it's doing really well. Um, it's a lot of fun to shoot. You can shoot this little gun all day long which means, you know, people who sometimes are a little more averse to doing a lot of training might want to do a lot of training with this gun. Typical Glock trigger, you know, specs are five and a half pounds. When we get it back on the bench, we'll take a look and see what it really is pulling at. Um, but, uh, you know, it's your, it's your typical Glock trigger. It feels and breaks just like a Glock. It resets just like a Glock. So if you're a Glock shooter, the intuition is right there. All the controls are exactly where you expect them. It's got the Gen 4 mag catch. It's a winner. This is a super nice little pistol. This thing is going to sell like hotcake. Trigger pull is rated at 5.5 pounds as is the standard uh, specification for pretty much all Glocks. This one is currently pulling at an actual average of nine pounds. Okay, just a couple of real quick comparisons and um, notes, observations. Um, uh, at this point in time, that's about as deep as I'm going to go. Um, there will definitely be a, uh, a follow-up, I think, with uh, a lot more detail. But um, probably if you have not yet laid your hands on the Glock 42, your biggest question is probably what how big is it really how small is it really you know whichever depending on whether your glass is half full or half empty but you know because I mean I can do this all day long but you have no idea how big my hand is so that really doesn't mean anything to you so um, you know and obviously they have all the specifications posted on the website and I'll post them here in this uh, information as well but that still doesn't it doesn't register right so let's do this this is what was previously the smallest Glock known to man, or at least known to man in the U United States. This is the baby Glock, the Glock 26. 
if we just hold these two together like this, they look like they're, you know, very close, you know, very nearly the same size. But you can see that the, uh, the 42 is shorter by a little bit. And it's um, just about the exact same height. But where we really have a huge difference is the thickness. Look at the difference in thickness between a 26 and the 42. And really, to, to really show that, you look at the top of the slide. You can see that the 42 is a little shorter, not quite a full inch, it looks like, shorter. But that thickness of slide is a huge, huge difference. Now, of course, we're comparing apples and oranges here because this is a double stack 9 millimeter. This is a single stack 380. But I just want to, I'm not trying to compare them against one another. I'm trying to compare them to give you an idea what size they are, what size the 42 is. If you haven't had a chance to hold one, it's really hard to understand how thin it is. It is super, super thin. So, the other thing I will compare it to, you may be familiar with a Smith & Wesson bodyguard. I have one of those available to me here. So I'm going to compare it to that as well. And the thickness is extremely similar. Um, I think the bodyguard has a slight edge in thinness of the slide itself, but then when you factor in the controls on the outside, like the takedown lever and the safety and slide lock, I think it pretty well evens things out. The bodyguard is a shorter gun, as you can see here. Um, length doesn't really bother me, within reason, obviously, on a carry gun, because that's not the most critical factor. So thinness and height, and height is just about the same on these two guns. So the bodyguard stands just about as tall as the 42, almost exactly. 